Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Thursday, April 15th. I'm Sean Coffey. We'll get to our top stories in just a minute, but first, here's meteorologist Logan Westrobe who joins us with a look at our Thursday forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hi, Sean. Good Thursday morning, everyone. For today, we're keeping the cloud cover around along with some scattered light rain showers as we go throughout this morning into this afternoon. Not expecting a complete washout, not looking for a very soaking rainfall as we go throughout today. Nonetheless, a little bit cooler temperatures today, only reaching into the lower and mid 50s by this afternoon. For tonight, we'll have a mostly cloudy sky with a rain or even snow shower, especially in those highest elevations. Not expecting this to be a big deal as temperatures tonight fall back into the mid 30s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast unsettled for the next 12 to 24 hours and really into Friday as well. Temperatures on Friday a little bit cooler into the upper 40s, some spots into the lower 50s. As we head into Saturday, we'll look for a little bit of a break in the action. Those clouds will try to break for a few peaks of some sunshine. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s, Sean. All right, Logan, thank you. A state police fire marshal will be looking into the cause of a fire that damaged a home early this morning. Flames broke out just after three this morning in the garage of a home along East 2nd Street in Salem Township in southern Luzerne County. We're told the home was vacant and there were for sale signs on the property. No injuries were reported and crews have now cleared the scene. It was another intense day of searching for a missing man in Monroe County. 72 year old Ronald Nicholas was last seen a week ago walking his dog near Brady's Lake. On Wednesday, search teams used two new tactics to look for him. Scuba teams used sonar to search for any signs, but found nothing. Search crews also put a GPS on his dog, Cole, who was found on Tuesday in order to track his path. Now, one thing that did not quite make sense to search and rescue teams was that Cole was perfectly clean when he was found, despite it raining for two days while he was missing. Nicholas's family believes the pair must have found shelter at some point, and there's a chance Nicholas could still be there. That does it for now. We'll have more eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. And as always, for the latest top stories and breaking news, head to pahomepage.com.